Hello once again. Welcome to another session on dialogues. In the previous lesson, we learned to read dialogues, understand them, and answer questions based on the text. Today, you will learn how to write a dialogue. You might get to write a dialogue for your O-level paper, and sometimes you may think it is difficult because you have to use content that you know and transfer it creatively into a dialogue. You must first understand your audience and purpose. That is, you need to think of who you are writing it to and what the purpose of your dialogue is. Remember, your language and style will change based on who the characters are in your dialogue. Let's look at some key steps you can take to write a fantastic dialogue. Step 1. Think about who your speakers are. The dialogue that you write can be between two friends, between you and your principal, or it can be an interview between a reporter and someone famous. Step 2. Make each character sound distinct. Another key aspect of writing realistic dialogue is making each character sound distinctly themselves. For this, you can change the language and the style for every character. Sometimes, the language used can change with the circumstances of the conversation and especially to whom each person is speaking. Step 3. Think about the relationship between the characters. If it is a conversation between and among friends, the language and tone must be very casual. If you are writing a conversation between a student and a teacher, for example, you, you need to use a more respectful tone with better, more sophisticated vocabulary. Step 4. Bounce back and forth. When writing a dialogue, it is always good to bounce back and forth between speakers, like a tennis match. You can use questions to keep the conversation going. You will have to respond to questions with quick responses and try to make your dialogue interesting with punctuation marks and interjections. Step 5. Reread your dialogue. Most of us know bad dialogues when we hear it. So what better way to check your dialogue than to reread it? Remember to take out unnecessary dialogue and rephrase phrases that you might want to change. While you do this, Remember to check your punctuation. Check your dialogue for major mistakes. So now that we have a brief understanding of the steps you need to follow when writing a dialogue, keeping all of this in mind, let's attempt to complete a few dialogues that are found in your English workbook. Please turn to Unit 1, Activity 2. The answers are given, so you just have to fill in the blanks with the right phrases. It might help to briefly go through the answers first. Let's look at them. Do you like this color or would you like a different color? Do you need anything else, sir? 750 rupees. How about the one next to the black t-shirt? It's very similar to the one you like. Sure, here it is. It's 950 rupees. Now let's complete the dialogue. The dialogue is between a salesman and Mr. Pereira. Good afternoon, sir. May I help you? Good afternoon. Can I see that shirt on the top shelf, please? Sure. Here it is. How much does it cost? 950 rupees. 950 rupees? That's too much. How about the one next to the black t-shirt? It's very similar to the one you like. That's nice. How much is it? 750 rupees. That'll be fine. Do you like this color or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. Do you need anything else, sir? No, that's all I want. Then you can pay at the cashier. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's look at Unit 8 in your workbook, Activity 9 on page 83. You are asked to complete the dialogue, which is in the form of an interview by writing down the questions. Let's do it together. Raju interviewed his friend Kumar to find out about his favourite book. The following are the answers he got from Kumar. Read the answers and write down the questions. 
The first answer that is given is My favorite book is Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The question to this should be What is your favorite book, Kumar? The second answer is Mark Twain has written it. The question to this is Who wrote the book? The third answer is I got it from the library. The question that you should write for this is Where did you get it from? The fourth answer that is given is It's a mixture of practical jokes and fantasy. The answer to this is What is the book about? The fifth answer is Yes, it's a children's story. The question to this should be Is it a children's story? That was very simple. If you have to write this into a full blown out dialogue, you can add filler words and phrases. You can also have more punctuation marks too. You can also make it more casual by using contracted words and extra information. Like this example. I have highlighted all the additional words, phrases and punctuation marks and put it in the format of a dialogue to give you an idea. This way, it is more like a conversation between two friends. Now let's look at a question from your 2018 past paper. Test 16. Complete the dialogue between Rizvi and Anupama. They have just met after the GCE O-Level examination. The start of your dialogue is given and you have to write 200 words. This question carries 15 marks. When attempting a question like this, you first have to remind yourself that the conversation is between two friends. But do not make it too informal as you are writing for an exam. You meet after an exam. So think about what you may say after this exam. Let's do this question together. The start is as follows. Now the exam is over. What next? Have you planned anything to do? Yes, I have a lot of plans. Really? What kind of plans? I thought during the break I will maybe go and do a diploma program in computing. Wow, that sounds great. I'm definitely going to do a course too. I thought the first thing that I will do is read all the novels that I wanted to read over the year. Read for pleasure was something impossible with all the studying. Yes, I know what you mean. I am not an avid reader, but I would like to watch a couple of movies that were out this year. Oh, what kind of movies? Well, I like all kinds of movies, but I enjoy action movies. I think I will maybe start on a little bit of exercise and actually start going to the gym. I need to stay healthy and our sports meet is in the beginning of next year. Oh yes, that's a fantastic idea. Can I join you? Though I hate going to the gym. Oh then, uh, what do you have in mind instead? Hmm, maybe just a walk thrice a week in the park. I love to observe nature too. You're welcome to join me, of course. That's nice of you, Rizvi, but I like to go to the gym. Anyway, I need to first list out all the things I want to do and maybe do a timetable and see what I can and cannot do. Yes, before you know it, we will be back in school for our A-levels. I want to do science subjects, so maybe I will start on some of the subjects soon. Hey, that's a great idea. I must get hold of the textbooks and get an idea of the subjects I am going to offer. What do you plan on doing? I'm definitely an art student. I know I have to do English literature. I need to figure out what the other two subjects are going to be. Maybe a language and economics? I do like geography too. It's tough. Right now, just don't think about it. We just finished our O-levels. We should celebrate. Yes, good idea. Let's go have an ice cream. Yes, let's do that. Now you have an idea of how you should write a dialogue. If it helps, you can maybe do a rough draft before attempting the question. Well, that comes to the end of our session today. If you did find this lesson useful, please subscribe to our channel. Till next time, goodbye.